For a reason, bro. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, guess who's back? Guess who's back? How does that song go? Guess who's I'm back, guys. I am back. And I'm here to break down a track that I did for my even though he just dropped the most sacrilegious video on the planet talking about how disabledton is better than fl studio which is totally not true <laughs> but i made a beat for my in the sample challenge and i got banned from said sample challenge first of all y'all go cop the my sample pack uh samples on deck that sample pack is really good we're talking about like 30 plus samples for only five dollars and he's running the samples through this old little tape machine that makes the sample sound even more rich and full and like more sampley so y'all make sure you cop that my out here doing good things now finally let's get into this beat so first i'm gonna play you guys the sample <laughs> So fire. Now that I play you guys the sample, I'm just gonna show you guys the intro. Intro's pretty simple. I just played the sample and then did some snare rolls, some stomps, some uh this acapella that I brought in that I hope I do not get copyrighted for. <laughs> the classic tag. You know you gotta have it in there. But the drums without the sample sound like this. And then also have this uh, little chant and the fill, which is in the Keith X Scoop sample pack, something that I will put in the description. Make sure y'all cop that. So the intro by itself just sounds like this. Okay, so now to get into the drop. My gosh, all right. So the first thing I did was chop up the sample. So it basically repeats for this first section section and then when I chop samples you want to make sure that you have the generic bleeding on because it usually comes on like transient bleeding 
and if you zoom in no not transient bleeding it usually comes on out only yeah it's gonna have this clicking sound because the audio it doesn't come it doesn't like roll off it literally stops immediately so it's gonna have a, a clicking sound I don't know if you can hear it but there's a clicking sound so what you always want to do is put it on generic bleeding to where there's no clicking sound it's like it rolls it rolls the beginning and ends of the chop to make sure that the clicking sound goes away and then after I had my chop down I put a fruity dx10 goaded plug-in really goaded plug-in I love fruity dx10 I think it's this one so I made this little preset in fruity dx10 and then I basically went on top of the sample with a different melody but it was basically it was mirroring the same melody as a sample but slightly different after that I automated Fruity DX10 because Fruity DX10 it has this really cool feature where since it's a stock plugin you can first of all automate it pretty easily in the playlist and then it has this chorus thing that changes the sound kind of so that's what I automated throughout the first drop uh, reverb on it and then the final melody I added for this first drop section was this pad that I had automated to open up that's what it sounds like so after I had added after I had my solid kick and clap we added all the chants and all the special effects and stuff like that. Also, I do this a lot in all of my beats is I'll take a small little chant and then I'll turn on stretch and I'll turn up the range of the pitch and then I'll automate this pitch knob to where it makes a sort of record, record scratching effect. So that this is what it sounds like inside of the beat. I added hats in the second section because in the first section I didn't want to add the hats because it might get too busy and then finally the coup d'etat is the acapella first of all I did the same thing I did with the chant I automated the pitch to where it would go up and down in pitch and then I automated the delay and then I also automated the volume and then it basically repeats and then finally I had the 808 so I do this effect a lot in a bunch of beats it's like an auto pan effect but I do it manually so first what you want to do is have your 808 of course and then put it in go to half step put an 808 on each step I delayed it because everything in this beat is delayed so it needed to match and go up to time but sometimes you don't have to do that and then the notes wherever you put the notes is where the 808 bends to you make sure you have this little ramp thing turned on that you make sure you have that turned on and you can do that just by either double clicking the sound or clicking a sound and clicking this thing in the top right no 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 okay before you place it that's what I'm gonna just forget it and then I have it panning to where it goes from left to right and it's really fast so this is what the full 808 pattern sounds like Then I added this frequency shift thing. I use K 
KH, K, KHS frequency shifter. It's like $20. And it's basically just you shift up and you shift down and stuff like that. So what you want to do is, first of all, do that. Like edit it in some way. And then you go into tools, you click last tweaked, and you click create automation clip. And it's gonna create an automation clip for the last thing you tweaked, which would be the frequency shifter. This is the full part with all the automation. Now for the second section. Okay, and finally we have this outro. Uh, I really can't say anything about the outro since I have no idea about music theory or training, so I don't know exactly what I did. But I do know that every single one of you watching this video needs to cop expand. It's like $14, $15. I swear I'm not sponsored by them, but they, psh, everything in this outro you hear is Expand, and a lot of the orchestral sections and all of my beats, it's from Expand. And Expand is really good because it's, first of all, cheap. It's very nice sounding samples, just they only need a little bit of post-processing to get them sounding exactly how you want them to sound. And you can also have multiple instances of them. I have I, I have projects where I have like 20 of them open and my project isn't slowing down at all. Like it's really, it's not CPU taxing. So it's something that a lot of producers need to start using. So that's the full beat. I'll play it from beginning to end. It's on my SoundCloud. You can listen to it there. My SoundCloud is just Keith, K-E-E-T-H. I'll link it in the description as well. And see y'all in a year. Uh. <laughs>